Hi, this is Devi and in this session, we will see how to combine a Angular project and a Spring Boot project into one project. Now, as you can see, uh, Fudo service is a, a Spring Boot app that we will create and Fudo UI is an Angular app that we will create and we'll have a root project which will combine these two uh, projects and uh, we'll have Gradle as a build which will build the entire application. The final objective will be whenever you say um, HTTP localhost 8080, it should be displaying the uh, the Fudo UI's homepage. Okay, so uh, so these are the things that we need to do in order to accomplish this. So first thing, we will create a, a simple Spring Boot application, and then we will create an Angular application, and then we have to do certain changes uh, uh, in the Angular apps Gradle. Uh, we'll first make it make sure that the uh, Gradle is enabled for this Angular app. And then we'll install this node gradle plugin and then we'll end we'll add this uh, output of this this slash food or ui into the static folder of the service project and at the same time uh, we'll also have to make some changes to the service app we will be uh, we'll have to say that this ui project is a dependency to the service project and in the root app we have to make some changes which we will do finally we'll build the application uh, using Gradle clean build of the root project and then we will run the application to check if everything is working fine. Okay. Now, as you can see, uh, this is a project. This is a folder that we created. You can see that there's nothing inside this folder. So we will use IntelliJ uh, for building uh, the projects. So you can see there's nothing inside this project. So first I'll create the service project. So you can actually uh, create the uh, uh, simple service project using the Spring Initializer uh, site, or you can use the uh, uh, feature that is inside this uh, IntelliJ to build it. So I'll use a um, Spring Initializer feature inside IntelliJ. Both will be the same thing. Okay, now what I do is I have to create a service project. So I'll just call this as cs.io, and then I'll call this as Fudo service. Now I'll ensure that this is a Gradle project and that's it. So this is a simple, as I mentioned, simple service. So I'll just say that it's a Spring Web and that's it. Um, I'll click finish. Okay, it takes some time to refresh this project. Okay, so this project is created now. Uh, so you can actually build this project. Do service and so say ready clean build. Okay, the build is successful. Now the next step, so we are done with this step. We are done with this step. Now the next step is to create an Angular app. So for creating the Angular app, you just have to say ng new and followed by um, the project name. So you just have to say ng new photo hyphen UI. I'll just say s and I'll say CSS. This should take some time to uh, install the packages. Okay, so the app is created. Now, what you say is ng serve hyphen hyphen o. Okay, so you have to say you have to get into the project first. UI and say ng serve hyphen
okay you can see that uh, we are hitting this port 4200 uh, we are directly uh, uh, accessing the AngularJS application but the objective of this session is to go via the Spring Boot app okay so we are done with this step as well now we just have to make gradle changes into this angular app okay so first of all i'll stop the server okay so now this is not a gradle project so first you have to say gradle in it on this angular app i'll just say basic and this will be based on Ruby and this. Okay. Now we can see that it created Gradle wrapper and it had upgraded build.gradle. Now, first thing what you have to do is you have to install some plugins in order to uh, do this. So I just say plugins and id first of all I have to make it as java and then i say id you can say um com dot dot node iphen gradle dot node and then i can say version is 2.0 and i have to say node versions so the node versions is you can just copy paste this thing and then you have to say uh, this jar depends on npm run build and then you have to say from test photo ui so you're actually copying the entire folder of this photo ui from disk into the static folder of the service layer and that's it so you're done with the um, the angular uh, related gradle dependencies so i'm done with this i, I already included the gradle pin and i mentioned this and i also added this thing now what you need to do is I need to I need to mention that uh, this uh, UI project that we created is actually a dependency on the Gradle for the service app. So what you have to do is go to the service projects Gradle. And in here you have to say implementation then you have to say project of colon photo ui so i'm also done with this step now you have to make some changes in the root application okay so as you know we created we started with a fresh uh, project uh, so this photo app is not a gradle project so so I have to say Gradle in it of this root app. Now I say one and it's groovy and that's it. Okay, now what you have to do is you have to go to the settings uh, file and then you have to include this entry. So you have to say include photo iPhone service you have to give the name of all the projects like photo hyphen UI. Now I'm done with this setting changes and then in the build.gradle uh, file yeah I have to include this change. Now I'm done with this change this now all you need to do is build and run the application. So I'll just say Gradle clean build. Okay, uh, it says that 
um, photo UI cannot be found in the project photo service so let's go to photo service build and you can see that I mentioned the dependency but uh, here I made a typo so it's called photo iPhone UI and not photo colon UI so that's one change and you can also see that I made a typo here which would be node iPhone gradle dot node so I made these two changes now I run this gradle clean build okay so it's built successfully now you can see that the build generated this disk folder and you can see that the final output will be it also created the final jars in this lib directory so we have built the application as well as so we have built the application now all that we need to do is run the application so we know that the jar is currently in this directory service so all you need to do is I just have to say Java iPhone jar photo iPhone service slash build slash libs slash oh we are already in this directory so we just have to say build slash libs slash that's it now the spring boot app comes up okay so the app is up and all you need to say is localhost colon 8080 that way i'm hitting the spring boot server now you can see you got the you got the angular app running in the spring boot server okay that's all for this session and uh, keep exploring and see you in the next session thank you